with all this shit that's going on, bonnet wearing, that's, that's what we're trying to do. That's right up there with telling the young brothers, don't sag. I'm thinking about, um, I just mentioned Monique mm -hmm. a little bit ago. So there was a conversation that she started where she was telling some of our young women to like take off their bonnets and kind of hold themselves according, like to a certain standard in public because what they're trying, what we should be trying to represent in terms of as a people. What's that? Are you familiar with Yeah, I've this? heard it. But I mean, what was your trying thoughts? To represent of... don't wear bonnets as a people. With all the shit that's going on, bonnet wearing, that's, that's what we're trying to do. That's right up there with telling the young brothers, don't sag. Really? Mm -hmm. Why? I never understood. Why, don't, why not sag? Now, if I was to tell them, it would be because of what I know it does to their hips eventually and would hurt, you know, physically what, would hurt them. What is that? Well, if, just the way you have to walk to keep your pants up creates a gape in your, your hip flexors. Okay. And so eventually, if you sag for four or five years, you're going to have some problems with your hips and with running. But you knew it was, that's right up there with hot pants and mini skirts and a lot right. of other shit. The shorts that they used to wear in the NBA that was way up here. It's right. right up there with that. So when Monique said it, okay. But maybe it's about every time she come out, she's immaculate. And you say it that way. And then when they say, oh, you always immaculate, here's why. But to tell somebody no, what if someone said, while she was saying that, and she was saying it in the spirit of represent, someone said, well, when are you going to lose 20 or 30 more pounds, Monique, and represent a fit life? Mm. Not that that means you're fit, but it's something to say. Or if it was even cruder, what about your fat ass, you see? Now we're not talking about what we should be talking about. Mm. We're not. So in, in, in that perspective, you don't really agree like that was necessarily, Monique was in the right to kind of try to push that message on our sisters? Have you heard it since? In terms of what? That? You know, in terms of messaging, when you see commercials, it's over and over and over. If you want me to get it, it's over and over and over. You can't say it one time. That's just talking shit one time. If all the time, that becomes a part of what you want. Stand up for yourself. You have to say it repeatedly. Not one time. Not two times. Because if you said you've seen it all over, then you have to say it. Let that be a part of your act. Let that be a part of what you talk about now. And it's not important, but let that be a part of it. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't wear bonnets. Not a um, learn self-defense lady so you can start taking care of yourself better in the streets mm. because the number one killer of women are men, even if you love them. So a lot of other things she could have spoke about, but bonnets, yeah, that's the easy I mean, one to not I pay I think there's a there's a plethora of things that I think we should be trying to hopefully rectify in our community. The bonnet conversation, I think it does definitely tie into uh, self-esteem, how we view ourselves. But it has to be consistent. Other than that, you're just saying something. Nation of Islam, for example, mm -hmm. it has a consistency. Dress this way, brothers. Dress this way, sisters. Consistency. All and Christians do. Dress a particular way. And so, every once in a while, the pastors would have that sermon on how to dress, how you should present yourself. But even before you get to church, your parents, don't go out there like that. Dress this particular way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is what they're doing in the street, but I don't want you like that. And here's why. Because you might be viewed this way. Mm -hmm. Give your understanding. So it's been around. So the bonnet thing was something to say. In summary, you think there was inconsistency 
from Monique to be able to, to say that? Well, to go from here's how I should be getting paid to wear bonnets, what are we talking about? Talking about the 10 and 20 million that you were saying to have equal pay or bonnets. And I think I would give my energy to the equal pay, you know, and, and try keep to stay that consistent going. with that. Yeah. Mm. Because you might have needed some of them sisters that wear the bonnets to sign the paper to say, Monique should get the same money as these other people. And it did in and hindsight. And would you take the signature with the one that wear the bonnet? A whole <laughs> busloads of sisters with bonnets on. Just to say, we're going to wear our damn bonnets, but we support you too. That's more of what it should be about. But. That's a great point because with that conversation, it did seem like there was a split between her audience where some people did take offense to that. Some of her supporters did take offense to like, hey, you know, who are you to tell me kind of uh, how I live my life, how I well, go out here? Dick Gregory said a long time, you tell black people that they can't go to church on Sunday and the churches will be packed. Mm. So how you gonna tell them Can what you they break, can't do? what does that mean? Say it again. What does that mean for people that? What you just said, you can't tell people what to do. You put the freedom of speech out there, the freedom to be who you wanna be, so who are you to say we can't wear the damn bonnet? That's part of the freedom. Yeah. Unless you're trying to say something about it. So you're saying, well, esteem because of the bonnet. What is about it? It's a nice bonnet. And the way some of these sisters can wrap the bonnet, you know, that's cool. Damn, I've never seen a bonnet wrap like that. Is it a particular store you get your bonnets from? Right. Yeah. What about that bonnet? Right. See, the thing I think why it didn't work out with Monique is kind of due to classism. Monique is still considered a famous, wealthy person. And predominantly, a lot of her followers are probably, you know, not on the same totem pole as she. So it did feel like she was kind of talking down. I think people can read, read it that way of like... That's what it was. It's like The people ain't stupid, even if they can't express that to you. That's why this cancel culture is interesting. Because they hold you to your bullshit. Remember you were saying this? And you figure, well, I'm making money over here now, and I'm good here, but here's what you've been saying all of this time. And they just holding you to it. Now, those that are in front of the cancer culture, they don't like it because they might get caught. They might. So it makes you a little bit more responsible. Mm -hmm. That's all.